Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, I'm going to cover a bit more about the Postman command line interface options and what all different command help and other options that you need to be aware of, right? So basically, if you go to the documentation of Postman as well, so if you just see Postman CLI options, search for Postman command line interface options, okay? So using Postman CLI, you'll get the Postman CLI command options here okay and then you will be able to get the details of those options as well okay some of the impo important ones that i'll be covering is uh, basically the bail and then there are others as well okay so for example if you want to pass the specific environment variable the option that you have is environment hyphen variable right so this is the documentation but then from the command line itself you can also see the there is a help available so from here itself if you simply see that to get available options for a particular command right so we know that different options are there so if i say hyphen v or a double hyphen version it will output the version of the postman cli and then help will display the help for the command okay so if i say okay postman hyphen h then you will see it will basically display the details of what the commands are right now if i want to get a specific help for the command collection okay so i'll say postman collection space hyphen h right and then it will give me the option for the specific command right so now in the collection there is a command run okay so i can then say okay postman collection run that's how we run the postman collection right so postman collection run and then specify either the file or the link for the postman collection right so i want to see what all options are being supported for run okay so i'll say okay hyphen h which will give me the help for this particular run postman collection run and you will see all of those options that are available that we have seen here okay the same options are being visible or displayed in the command line right now the important ones is basically hyphen e we have already understood that you can specify the id or the path of the postman environment similarly hyphen g is for the global variable so say for example in postman we have the global variable as well so you have defined some variable which are at the global level you can specify the id of this globals okay so this id if i simply go to the globals and click on the information this is the id for the global or i can export this particular global variable file which will be a json file and then provide that json a globals.json file in order to for the postman collection so that those global variables get resolved when the execution happens okay so this is about hyphen g then we have the important one is you know hyphen global hyphen where okay and then environment variable so if you want to manually specify right so here you will see allows the specification of a global variable via the command line in a key value format okay similarly the environment variable so if say for example when i'm going to execute a collection okay so i'll say postman collection run okay and i want to manually provide the host name okay so if we see a particular json file so for example this environment okay so environment file here right so if you open this environment file you will see the host name has been defined there and the value is there but i want to specify this host name while running the command okay while running running the the command here from the command line interface okay so i can use this hyphen env where okay so double hyphen env where i can copy it and then paste it here and then with space in double quotes i can provide the key value pair okay so whatever attribute name that we have provided so the attribute name that we have provided is host name right so if we open this you will see the key is host name and the value we can provide from the command line directly okay so i can simply copy that and paste it and this is how this host name will now be passed into the collection when the collection will be run okay now similarly this is the environment variable then similarly you can do for the global variable as well right so hyphen global where hyphen where and then specify in the key value format okay then the next one is basically this double hyphen bail okay so this will gracefully exit your test case if you use this particular attribute okay or this particular option it will gracefully exit the test case on the failure okay so basically if there are failures in your script if there is a failure has been encountered 
then the execution will stop and gracefully exit okay then there are other options as well basically i won't be going through each and every one but then you can go ahead and try out with the delay request which is basically delaying you, you we have already seen in the postman right so to delay the time from one request to another so you can specify that manually as well by using this delay double hyphen delay hyphen request and then specifying the millisecond time okay you can also specify the timeout timeout request script etc all of that is possible from the command line itself then for the ssl certificate as well so you can specify the client certificate uh, the passphrase key etc from the command line itself and these are the certificate option the ssl certificate option right now not every time the apis will be public api there will be apis that you will need a certificate in order to access it right so in that particular case you have to have those certificates in your local machine or from wherever you are hitting those api you have to provide the path of that certification certificate where your certificate is so that a server can understand right so you need a client certificate and then that client certificate will be uh, taken and sent to the server server will identify yes this is the certificate coming from the authenticated or uh, the authorized source and then with the certificate key and passphrase basically you can then access the api right so these are all ssl related options that you can use in the command line as well okay then other options so basically verbose is for showing the detailed more detailed information this is related the last two related are the uh, are related to the cookie okay so this is basically how you can go ahead and explore the command line options that are available in the postman cli okay that's pretty much all for this particular video go ahead explore more on the command line options when you are comfortable with the basic options then you will be able to more uh, or try different variations in the command line and be more comfortable with the postman command line so that's all for this particular video i hope it was helpful Thank you very much for watching.